Hi everybody, it's Nancy Kelly, vocal coach and jazz singer. And I am here with one of my students, Natalie Herman. Hi Natalie, how you doing? Great, how are you? I'm, well, <laughs> <laughs> we've been laughing trying to make this color better. But anyway, um, Natalie's one of my students that has uh, been with me from the get-go. Natalie, what, um, just, just tell people like about school and what grades you're in and the things that you do at school in the arts. Um, so I'm going to be a senior in high school. Um, I've been doing theater for so many years. Um, so I, I'm into that at school and I do chorus, um, and all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And I make you sing jazz. Yes. And I love it. And Natalie's one of the few students that I have that just really got excited about that. And she really took to it and she, uh, understood the, the phrasing and she looks forward to learning more in-depth things. We're going to do today what we always do, which is scales. Which ones do you like to start out doing? Uh, mum mums. Well, mum mums? <laughs> yeah. Okay, we'll do some bum mums. Mum 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 That sounded a little odd. What did it? Is it just me? Mama, let me hear that again. Mama, 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 mama. Oh, it was an E flat. That's why. That's why. Hey, that's, that's my break. <laughs> I just realized you went over your break and I didn't even hear it. Yay! <laughs> I didn't even hear it. I'm gonna make you do it again. Okay. <laughs> Great. <laughs> okay. Here's that D. Oh, God. mama, mama, mama. <laughs> so what am I stopping you for? Oh, it's just not good. It's it, not forward. Uh, it's just not where it should be. Yeah, that darn note yeah. for you. It just wants to go and stay in the back of your mouth. Mm -hmm. So we, we always demonstrate to people how we get it forward. Will you do that for me, please? Hum. Hum. Okay. Okay. Hum. And, and, and really blow the air forward so that you make your lips buzz. That was better. Better. Make that sound come through the top of your head. Do it again. Hello. That was so much better. Hello. <laughs> now let's try to put it in the in the scale. Okay. No, you went back. So what I like to do is an octave jump. Oh. Uh, Hum it. Yeah, so you hear how forward that got when you hummed it? That was cool. Very good. When you when you sing that that top note, Natalie, make it feel like it's a scooping like this. Like this, kind of. Try that again for me. Oh. I love it when it plans. <laughs> I've been doing the la las. I I have found they're they uh they're from Judy Nymac and I love all. I, I have a, use a lot of her scales. I like them. La 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 la. You can't even hear the break in there at all. It's so. Let's see what happens when you try some. Do you, are you, uh, do you prefer to do them a little slower? Uh, any tempo is fine. And, oh, okay. <laughs> la, 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 <laughs> Great. <laughs> Go so fast. <laughs> oh, no, that wouldn't be. You ready? <laughs> One, two, three, four. La, 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 the ooh, as you as you know, is produced in the back of your e a a o u, 
it's produced back here and it takes a little more air pressure to bring it forward where it will resonate your lips Ooh, you should really feel it all right here some people still want to keep that back here Ooh, ooh, ooh. You, you can you can hear it resonate especially when it's a high note Really sounds like uh, like you're blowing across the top of a bottle. I love that sound. Ooh, can you give? Me, ooh, that was so ringy and beautiful. Yeah. yeah, that was your note. I guess the only answer, at, at, and, and everybody always wants to know, geez, how do I get over that break gracefully? It's just a matter of time and working on it. It really is. It just takes time. You've come a long way. When I first met you, you had no head resonance at all. None. Yeah. Get your mouth nice and round. Think of your mouth on an ah vowel like the bell of a trumpet. And don't move it. Because the only thing that's going to move is, is the core encouraging the air pressure to uh, carry the note. <laughs> like, don't let things move here because that also causes tension. <laughs> so if you saw my tummy, it was really bouncing. How are you doing with the core? Good? Mm -hmm. <laughs> going to do those again okay more air make sure you're pulling air to your waist filling to your shoulders one two three two two <laughs> times <laughs> oh my goodness wasn't that exciting i hope everybody saw the beautiful beautiful sound and resonance she was getting and on her um head voice uh sounds and um just just so clear and resonant the beautiful vibrato coming out everything was just gorgeous yeah. you sound great natalie you really do thank you <laughs> like what did you think you might like to do today I wish you love. Uh huh. Now, what was a part of that decision for you? Um, well, I had performed that song at one of our master classes, and I didn't love the performance outtake, and I just thought it would be a good opportunity to sing it again. And oh, well, you little. Song. Hey! <laughs> that's not song. right. That's not this. what this forum is for. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Second chance forum. <laughs> Is it because you heard the video and you didn't like it? Yeah, I, I I just think I could have done it better. I just get so nervous and I just like kind of black out and I don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I, that's the way I live pretty much. I, so I teach I Wish You Love uh, because it lends itself so well to being done in different fields. What does feel mean? Uh, it's like the style of music, so you could do it in a ballad or a swing or Latin, anything mm -hmm. like that. And which one did you choose? Latin. What? Why? I just like the rhythm of it, and I think this song, it just feels good with the song. It does feel good with this song. So tell us what you know about Latin singing as uh, opposed to blues-based singing. 
Uh, the rhythm is different. So Latin is kind of before the beat and typically loses after the beat. So it's just different kinds of rhythm. Yeah. And you feel comfortable with both of those. Mm -hmm. You do. Because I make these computer uh, generated uh, things. We can't do rubato. What is rubato? Out of time. Yeah. Yeah. It's just out of time. And this has a gorgeous verse. I wish you bluebirds in the spring to give your heart a song to sing and then a kiss. But more than this, I wish you love. And in July, a lemonade to cool you in some leafy glade. I wish you health, but more than wealth, I wish you love. My breaking heart, and I agree that you and I could never be so with my best my very best i set you free i wish you shelter from a storm a cozy fire to keep you warm but most of all when snowflakes fall i wish you love Oh, I, I wasn't like going to talk about the vibrato. I feel like you were. <laughs> no, I wasn't going to talk about the vibrato. I was going to... Did you feel like you did a lot of vibrato in there? Yeah. Yeah? And and what... So what do we usually... When we talk about vibrato, what do we usually try and do with it? Like, what are we... What's our goal? With I the, think, for me, I just use it everywhere. So it's just kind of be mindful of where you're putting it. Yeah. So, like, well, you're using it everywhere because you're singing correctly. <laughs> Vibrato is a natural state of relaxation for the vocal cords. Some some people don't. I don't have very good vibrato, so I have to kind of really manipulate mine. Otherwise, people will ask me to leave. <laughs> <laughs> so, but you have a beautiful vibrato. So, But you have to become mindful. Why? Just because I don't want to overdo it. It's, it's some, it can be a lot. And And what happens... Um, what happens when, when you let it, uh, just go everywhere? Just like, it's just like the same. Like you kind of want to like, if you want to sing a song, it's just like styling it. Yeah. But what happens is you lose, you can't even hear the word anymore. Oh yeah. Like the word is just, you know, gets buried with all that vibrato. And this is popular singing. So it's all about speech singing, you know? So anyway. Uh, the vibrato didn't bother me too much, but Latin music in general is another one of these very spoken kind of uh, of, of uh, music forms. It's, it's very spoken. It's very gentle. But what is the main, main component of Latin music? Rhythm. Yeah, that's why <laughs> I did this. <laughs> Do you think, I think we could add a little more uh, rhythm to it. Mm -hmm. So what happened was you were really in sort of a legato frame of mind there, which is lovely, but I think if you pay a little more attention to the drummer, didn't I send you a track with just the drums on I think, it? Yeah, I think yeah. you've done that. Yeah, and that really does help the singer get a feel for the, um, the rhythm of Latin music. At any rate, let's go back. I want you to do a little bit more, and I want you to be a little bounce, a bounce here. Okay, mm -hmm. just just a little bit of the tune to see if we can. And how do I? One of the things I ask people to do is is tap. Sometimes with Latin music, if you if you move your body to like you're dancing to it, you know, that can help the singing. Help you feel lighter with your singing. So let's try that, please. I wish you bluebirds in the spring to give your heart a song to sing and then a kiss, but more than this, I wish you love And in July A lemonade To cool you in 
some leafy glade I wish you health but more than wealth I wish you love Now we're in the legato field My breaking heart And I agree That you and I could never be So with my best, my very best I set you free I wish you shelter from a storm A cozy fire to keep you warm but most of all, when snowflakes fall, I wish you love. I would say that was remarkably much better. Mm -hmm. It felt better. Didn't it feel better? Yeah. Why don't we, for just some crazy fun, get out the swing version? Oh, okay. What do you think about that? Sure. What we talked about initially in this video was different feels and how you can take a tune and it can be a different feel. And you've never done this in a swing feel. Or if you did, it was a long time ago and you forgot all yeah. about it. I could see the look on your face. You're, you're like, oh no, what's gonna happen here? I'm not gonna give you any pointers. I'm just gonna put it on and we're gonna see what your talent decides to do with this. Okay. Because you have done a lot of swing tunes. Let's just see what happens when you sing it. Okay. Because this is what other people can learn from. I wish you bluebirds in the spring to give your heart a song to sing and then a kiss. But more than this, I wish you love. And in July, a lemonade to cool you in some leafy glade. I wish you health, but more than wealth, I wish you love. My breaking heart, and I agree that you and I could never be. So with my best, my very best, I set you free. I wish you shelter from a storm, a cozy fire to keep you warm, but most of all when snowflakes fall, I wish you love. I, I can't find anything wrong. <laughs> really? <laughs> I can't find anything to fix. I thought it was so well done. I thought that you just felt that naturally. I would love to, I can't wait to compare the two, the, the, how you did it with the, what you did with the Latin one and what you did with this one. It's just beautiful. My only thought would be to maybe bring a little, a, a lower the sound just a little, you know, so that you're not, you, 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 if I don't get after you, sometimes you sing a little high. Do you think you were singing a little high on that? Yeah. Yeah, I do too. And I think you... it was nerves too. <laughs> oh, because you didn't know yeah. what, what you're getting yourself into. Let's turn it on again and see if we can have you remember, I wish you bluebirds, mm -hmm. right? I wish you bluebirds in the spring. Tap your toe and sing to that beat. All right, you want to mm -hmm. try it again? I wish you bluebirds in the spring to give your heart a song to sing and then a kiss. Okay, let's stop. So I want you to I want you to repeat that uh, lyric for me just just um, just spoken and with conviction. I wish you bluebirds just spoken, not on the notes, just spoken. I wish you bluebirds in the spring to give your heart a song to sing. I don't believe you. Oh. <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> I don't believe you. I wish you bluebirds in the spring to give your heart a song to sing. And I then... Think, no, you sound like you're... you're I don't like that. I know you don't <laughs> like it. That's why I'm making you do it. What would an actress do? I wish you bluebirds in the spring 
to give your heart a song to sing. Did you believe that? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and if you do that and then sing it, you're going to have something that sounds like this creates the phrasing. I wish you bluebirds in the spring to give your heart a song to sing then a kiss. That's really good. <laughs> but not unreachable for you. Mm -hmm. It's all about the poetry. It's all about the story. We're going to go back. It's very easy to find yourself kind of floating somewhere above this story. That's, that's an easy thing to do. But the audience really wants to uh, hear your version of this story. They're really not interested in the notes at all. They don't care about notes. I say this a lot. People don't mm -hmm. care about notes. <laughs> oh, well, there's some people that want to hear a lot of notes so that they can stop the insanity that's going <laughs> inside of their head. <laughs> but most people want to enjoy the, the, the beautiful scenery with you. So one more time, I want you to recite that. You don't have to look at me or the camera. <laughs> and I want you to re recite it, those first lines. Okay. With conviction, please. Okay. I wish you bluebirds in the spring to give your heart a song to sing and then a kiss, but more than this, I wish you love. That was better. I think that was better. I do. Now we're going to sing it like that. I wish you bluebirds in the spring To give your heart a song to sing And then a kiss, but more than this I wish you love And in July a lemonade To cool you in some leafy glade I wish you health, but more than wealth I wish you love my breaking heart and i agree that you and i could never be so with my best my very best i set you free let know. me ask you this question what did you think of that what you just did it was good it was fine i can do it better like if i practiced it but it was okay for like first try <laughs> was the tempo all right it was a little bit fast okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna try it slower and see what happens oh okay so what we're going to do here is uh, I slowed it down a little bit, and I think it's going to really help people see how you're able to syncopate the swing feel a little easier with this, this, this tempo. Let's just see what happens. See what happens to you, because you have a lot of talent, and I know it's, it's going to change the way you sing it. spring to give your heart a song to sing and then a kiss but more than this I wish you love and in July a lemonade to cool you in some leafy glade I wish you health but more than wealth I wish you love my breaking heart and I agree that you so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to sing the first one. This is an A-A-B-A -A -A tune, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. I'm going to sing the first one. And then you're going to be influenced by what I'm singing. Okay, and that's in the second then one. Then you're going to sing. Yeah. So, I, so that helps you. I wish you bluebirds in the spring to give your heart a song to sing and then a kiss but more than this i wish you love and in july a lemonade to cool you in some leafy glade i wish you help but more than wealth i wish you love
All right, so cool. So what happened there? Because it was that the, the the outcome was exactly what I wanted. I just felt it better. It's like getting in the groove of it. You got in the groove. Mm-hmm. You got in the groove. Yep. You got in the groove. Very unusual for uh, uh, a person your age to even be interested in getting in the groove. <laughs> <laughs> What kind of music do you listen to? I, I do like to listen to jazz a lot. Um, I like to listen to like indie pop, indie yeah. folk. Yeah. So thank you so much for coming and being with us today. Any any final comments? Oh, just thank you. You're wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. All right, thanks. Bye. Bye-bye.